Alex Earl, who some call the it girl of TikTok and currently makes $5 million a year, recently announced that she decided to cut out all alcohol for 30 days so she could start off 2024 feeling good and healthy. Alex constantly documents her life which includes a lot of drinking and hangovers. Some people don't think Alex can go 30 days with no alcohol. They think she's a drug addict and alcoholic. Some viewers are saying no alcohol, not happening. Alex Earl going 30 days with no alcohol is called rehab. No alcohol, good luck. And some people are cheering Alex on, saying, get it girl, you've inspired me to do a version of this. You can accomplish anything, queen. If Alex Earl isn't drinking this month, then neither am I. Like you never know what you can find in my bed. We have outfits, we have hangers, pills from CVS. Are you drunk? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, did you, did you all of a sudden get hammered? <laughs> Recently, Alex addressed the drug addict and alcoholic rumors on her podcast, and this is what she had to say about it. A lot of people are like calling me a drug addict and an alcoholic. That's the thing about posting online. If you post online, people are entitled to give their opinion, and that's something that I've had to learn this year, and you just have to like go with the flow. People are going to talk shit. Like, that's just, it is what it is. But I will say, it's funny that I never got these comments when I was going out like a feral rat. Like a feral rat. Like six months ago because I was in college, but now that I'm like out of college and going out like way less than I was before, now everyone wants to call me an alcoholic and a drug addict because I'm not in college anymore. So now I like can't go out. Like, please stop. You know what? I'm okay. Like, I'm fine. And I'll always get comments, especially about drugs. I went out this weekend with Kristen. We went out to... Uh, John Summit's concert we were there from his set was 4 to 7 a.m. and I'm like we're not on any drugs actually we're having some tequila and an energy drink and we're having a good time so a lot of people were asking Alex if she was on drugs because she was able to go to this concert from 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. not only was she able to stay up all night but they had so much energy at this concert they were dancing so people were like what's up how can you do this Alex just admitted that they were drinking energy drinks and tequila all night energy drinks are packed full of caffeine Caffeine is a stimulant that works to improve alertness, wakefulness, and mood. Caffeine is classified as a drug. It stimulates the central nervous system. It can make people feel more alert and energetic. Caffeine is a stimulant, which means it increases activity in your brain and nervous system. It also increases the circulation of chemicals such as cortisol and adrenaline in your body. Alex went out for New Year's partying and drinking with her friends and with her boyfriend who's an NFL player. His name is Braxton Berrios. He plays for the Miami Dolphins. Alex posted a video to TikTok after going out for New Year's. She said, being a hungover gremlin while my boyfriend drives us to pick up bagels and coffee. I'm starting the 30 hard tomorrow because there's 30 days in January. I mean, 31 days in January, so I can still finish it by the end of January. One viewer said, let's be real, she can try to keep up this facade. However, once the Dolphins play their first playoff game, it will be all over for her. No way she's going to sit through a game without drinking and or not going to drink and celebrate after. I'm calling it now. Someone is going to see her out drinking sometime in January and post it somewhere and she's going to claim she was just drinking water. So the rules are a gallon of water a day, two workouts a day for 45 minutes each, one's outside and then one's indoors. No alcohol and then you hold yourself to like a diet of your choice. And then one of the other things is reading, I think for like 30 minutes or an hour a day. I'm going to try and do journaling for 30 minutes every day. Alex said she'll be daily vlogging on TikTok to show what she's doing every day and to show how the 30 hard goes throughout the month of January. Alex makes a TikTok all about shopping. She says, I've never bought so many groceries in my life. Haul coming soon. Alex films herself trying to put this large squash into a produce bag and the squash breaks through the bag and falls on the floor. Alex tries to act like this didn't just happen. She puts the damaged produce bag back on the shelf 
and grabs another produce bag. She's determined to get it into that produce bag. Viewers were calling her out in her comments saying, I just avoid putting produce in those plastic bags. Just put it in your cart. But why put a squash in a plastic bag in the first place? Sometimes maybe posting every day isn't good for your brand slow content day, huh? Just happened to film her while she was dropping the squash. Does she have someone filming all the time to catch all of these quirky moments? Imagine purposely dropping food in the grocery store for content. Oh, Braxy Poo, here, hold the phone and film. I'm gonna take this orange thing and put it in that bag that has a small hole in it, and it will rip through the bag, fall on the floor, and make sure once it falls on the floor, you gasp out loud so they can hear you. You know what, I feel like she's purposely going to fail this and she's gonna have a healthy food delivery sponsorship coming, something like HelloFresh. As you can tell by those comments, a lot of viewers are not buying what Alex is selling. A lot of people think that she's faking all of this, she's just doing it for content. Alex has said before that social media is fake. Social media is fake. It seems like Alex read all the comments that were left on her grocery shop video, and maybe she read some comments on Reddit. They were talking about it over there as well, because she then goes and posts to TikTok asking her viewers if she's annoying. Am I annoying? <laughs> I just posted that video of me dropping the squash in the store, and I thought it was funny, but I didn't know how to like start the video. And I'm seeing all these comments, and so I'm like, wait. Am I someone that, like, I would even like? Like, would I like my videos or would I think I'm annoying? I think I'm annoying. Viewers responded to Alex's question saying, Yes, absolutely. Thanks for asking. Girl, you are and that's why we love you. Yeah, a little. The throw-up dress just did it for me. You're famous for a reason, bestie. Keep doing you. These comments are so mean. Yes, thanks for asking. Very. No, babe, you're so real that other people can't handle it. Keep slaying. And a lot of viewers just said yes. This is what people on Reddit had to say about her video. Being so pick me because she's not getting praised in the comments on her recent video. I bet the comments on this one aren't what she was looking for. The amount of likes on the comments that say she's annoying is crazy. She keeps digging herself a hole. Alex, just take one day off from social media, lol. Once she realizes all of her fans only want to see her drunk and being disgusting every day, she'll be back to her normal content, lol. So what do you think about Alex doing 30 hard? Do you think she'll make it 30 days with no alcohol? Or do you think a lot of content on social media is just fake? Do you think challenges like this are just fake? Do you think they just fake all of this content just for something to post? I read online that some people think Alex is doing this 30-day challenge to improve her reputation online. Stay tuned because I'll keep you updated on Alex going alcohol-free for 30 days. Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines. See you next time.